Hello children, so in this video we will talk about resonance condition. The condition of resonance in a series LCR circuit. So you already know what is a series LCR circuit in which an inductor, capacitor and a resistor are connected in series with an AC source. Inductor, capacitor and resistor. Okay. So, we know the opposition of inductor is XL, inductive reactance. Opposition of capacitor is XE, capacitive reactance. And resistors, opposition is resistance. And what is the net opposition of the LCR circuit is? That you know, it is impedance. Z is the impedance and its formula is R square plus XL minus XE whole square or you can write x e minus x l that doesn't matter so this is impedance so how much is the current in the circuit current is given by your voltage upon resistance resistance is in opposition so voltage upon opposition so it is emf that is voltage and opposition is r square plus x l minus x e whole square the series LCR system is said to be in resonance when current is maximum. So, you can write this. The LCR system, yeah, the LCR circuit is said to be at resonance is said to be at resonance if current in the circuit is maximum. If current in circuit is maximum and when will current be maximum current will be maximum when your z is minimum opposition is minimum okay so you can write yes so z should be minimum for current to be maximum so this term should be minimum r square plus xl minus xc ka whole square should be minimum now when will it be minimum for it to be minimum see resistance can never be zero okay this quantity can be zero for it to be minimum so that means xl minus xc is equal to zero so xl is equal to xc see what is resonance first of all LCR circuit is said to be at resonance when current through it is maximum. When current is maximum. And when is current maximum? When opposition is minimum. And when is opposition minimum? When this term is 0. And when this term is 0, then this is true. Okay. So, this is resonance. Fine. Now, this can be opened as for a particular frequency, omega r. This can be opened as omega r l. And this can be opened as 1 by omega c. That is 1 by that particular frequency omega r into c so this can be written as omega r square is equal to 1 by lc so omega r that is resonance frequency can be written as 1 by root lc so this is frequency at resonance this can be opened as 2 pi nu rather nu r if you want to like denote it for a special frequency so, this is resonance frequency, this nu r or omega r. So, what do you see that at resonance, let us write down the characteristics of LCR circuit at resonance. Characteristics. Yeah, characteristics of LCR circuit at resonance. Number one, inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance. Second point, resonating frequency is equal to 1 by root LC. Third point, you can see the opposition of inductor is getting cancelled by opposition of capacitor. So, it means whose opposition is there in circuit? Resistors. So, the circuit behaves purely resistive. 
सर्किट बिहेव्स प्योरली रेजिस्टर बिकॉज द ऑपोजिशन ऑफ इंडक्टर इज गेटिंग कैंसल बाय ऑपोजिशन ऑफ कैपेसिटर ओके करंट इज मैक्सिमम दिस कैन बी द फोर्थ पॉइंट बिकॉज इंपिडेंस इज मिनिमम इंपिडेंस इज इक्वल टू आर बिकॉज एक्सेल इज गेटिंग कैंसल बाय xc right this is r square plus this is xl minus xc is all square and at resonance xl is equal to xc so this portion will be cancelled it will be equal to root of r square so it is equal to z is equal to r which is minimum opposition is minimum so current is maximum current is maximum okay then we have to remember this thing this is very important point series lcr circuit is also called acceptor circuit very important series lcr circuit is also called acceptor circuit acceptor circuit because here only resonating frequency that is nu r that is omega r is selected for which current is maximum resonating frequency is selected and other frequencies will be rejected because for this particular frequency current is maximum because that is minimum because xl is equal to xc here this frequency is selected and other frequencies are rejected so it is called acceptor circuit series lcr circuit at resonance is called acceptor circuit it's very important what is acceptor circuit they ask so what is acceptor circuit series lcr circuit at resonance okay and other frequencies are rejected which frequency is selected this frequency is selected omega r is equal to 1 by root lc this frequency is selected now let us talk about the next term which is q factor q factor q for quality this quality factor now what is q factor q factor is first of all what is its significance it determines the sharpness of resonance q factor determines the sharpness how sharp is resonance it determines the sharpness of resonance or you can say clarity of signals okay now this q factor is mathematically also defined as the ratio of resonating frequency to bandwidth bandwidth what is bandwidth we will see see there is a term q factor quality factor which determines the sharpness of resonance curve also we can say resonance also we can say for a for a series lcr circuit okay now what do you mean by sharpness like clarity of signals series lcr circuit okay it's one formula is this and there is one more formula now in order to understand this let us look at the graph and then we will have some clarity about the topic q factor will be good then so you see we are going to plot current against frequency so i will take this relation that current is equal to voltage upon opposition it is voltage upon this opposition impedance is open as this 
xl minus xc whole square within root. Now let us open xl and xc also. So xl is open as omega l. So this will be written as e by root r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square. Right. Now this is equal to current and we have to plot current against frequency. So we will take case 1. When frequency is very high or let us say 0. Let us start with smaller frequency where frequency is tending to 0 as in frequency is very low. So we will see what is the value of current. We will substitute here 0. So this is 0. We will substitute here 0. So 1 by 0 is infinity. This term is infinity. 1 by omega c. Here we are putting 0. So this is infinity. Right. If this is infinity, the entire term becomes infinity. Then entire term becomes infinity. So E upon infinity becomes almost 0. So current is 0. So this is my first set of readings. When frequency is very low, current is also very low. Now let us see. Case number 2, when frequency is very high, when angular frequency is very high, that is tending to infinity. So, if I will substitute infinity, see first of all current is given by voltage upon impedance and formula of impedance is root of R square plus omega L minus 1 by omega C whole square. Now we are going to substitute here infinity. This is infinity. 1 by infinity is 0. This is infinity. So everything is infinity. So E upon infinity is E upon infinity will be 0. So current is again very low. 0 means very low. Now what, what will be the third frequency that we can take? Third frequency I will take equal to resonating frequency. That is equal to, that is not even tending, I am taking it as equal to resonating. So, you know at resonating frequency, XL is XC. I know. So, X, this XL and XC will be cancelled. So, current would be how much? Current would be equal to E by R because XL and XC are getting cancelled. So, at this frequency, this is another reading, current is this. That is maximum, I not. Maximum current. So, my, I am reading with three readings. First reading is this omega 0, I 0, omega infinity, I 0, omega omega R. So, current is I naught. So, let us write down all the three readings. Omega 0, current 0. This is first reading. Second set of reading is omega infinity. Current 0. And third set of reading is when omega is your resonating frequency, then current is peak current, maximum current. Here you can write equal to in, in spite of using tending to. Now let us plot. When we will plot, we will see it will come like this. See, when this is your current. This is angular frequency, right? Now we'll take the smaller value of angular frequency this side, and a current is also small. This is the reading. Current small, angular frequency small. So this, these are the readings initially. When frequency is high, frequency is high this side, and a current is still zero. So current is zero here now. So this is the reading. Here omega is high, but current is less. And for one particular value of omega, current is peak. This is I naught written. So this type of graph is obtained. Don't make it meet 0. Don't make it touch any axis. So this type of graph is obtained. Okay. So now you all can see that uh, this is peak value of current which is occurring at resonating frequency. Now, this is some value which is I naught by root 2. 
आई नॉट बाई रूट टू इज पॉइंट सेवन आई नॉट ठीक है दिस इज आई नॉट दैट इज वन वन आई नॉट सो पॉइंट सेवन आई नॉट इज समर हियर एंड दिस पॉइंट सेवन आई नॉट इज हियर ऑल्सो पॉइंट सेवन आई नॉट एंड हियर ऑल्सो एंड दिस इज अकरिंग फॉर टू फ्रीक्वेंसीज दीज आर दो टू फ्रीक्वेंसीज दिस इज ओमेगा वन एंड दिस इज ओमेगा टू दीज आर सिमेट्रिकल ओके सो दिस ओमेगा वन इज लिटल लेस देन ओमेगा आर सो वी राइट इट एज ओमेगा आर माइनस डेल ओमेगा लिटल लेस एंड दिस ओमेगा टू इज लिटल हायर देन इस ओमेगा आर सिमेट्रिकल बट सो दिस इज कॉल लेस वैल्यू इज कॉल्ड लोअर साइड बैंड फ्रीक्वेंसी and the other one is called upper sideband frequency band frequency and bandwidth that we used bandwidth is the difference of upper sideband frequency and lower sideband frequency upper sideband frequency minus lower side band frequency so you can substitute this and see let us try to see this once again we have plotted the graph like this okay here omega is zero matlab less and i is also less here omega is high and i is less which is the reading for one particular value of omega that is resonant frequency current is maximum so graph is like this ठीक है नाउ आई एम सेइंग दैट दिस इज योर पीक वैल्यू ऑफ करंट सो दैट इज वन समवेयर इट मस्ट बी पॉइंट सेवन आल्सो सपोर्ट दिस इज पॉइंट सेवन दैट इज आई नॉट बाय रूट टू दैट इज आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ करंट ठीक है नाउ दिस वैल्यू ऑफ करंट एग्जिस्ट फॉर दीज टू फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस इज वन फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस इज वन फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस अप मतलब दिस इज स्मॉल फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस इज हायर फ्रीक्वेंसी नाउ दिस ओमेगा वन इज little less than omega r and it is called lower side band frequency and similarly omega 2 is little higher than omega r so it is called upper side band frequency and the difference of two is called bandwidth so bandwidth is equal to upper side band frequency minus lower side band frequency we'll substitute both this minus this so you know sign will change so omega r will cancel theek okay? hai and this will turn into positive so it will be 2 del omega now q factors formula first formula is ratio of resonating frequency to bandwidth and bandwidth formula is 2 del omega if you wish you can write it bandwidth as upper side band frequency minus lower side band frequency what is upper side band frequency little higher than resonating frequency and what is lower side band frequency little lower than resonating frequency so this is one formula so more the bandwidth hai na so less is the value of q q factor q factor is inversely proportional to this hai na sharpness means how sharp is the curve like this nicely we are obtaining good amount of current so coming to the second formula of q factor so we all will remember one formula one formula is this and this name is bandwidth now we'll see the next formula of q factor q factor is the ratio of there are p fixed definition and we have to prepare it is the ratio of voltage across inductor or voltage across capacitor to voltage across circuit at resonance so this is second definition what is the first definition 
डेफिनेशन इट इज रेशियो ऑफ रेजोनेटिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी टू बैंडविथ ठीक है एंड सेकेंड डेफिनेशन इज दिस लेट अस सी द डेफिनेशन वंस अगेन इट इज अ रेशियो ऑफ वोल्टेज अक्रॉस इंडक्टर और वोल्टेज अक्रॉस कैपेसिटर अपॉन वोल्टेज अक्रॉस सर्किट एट रेजोनेंस सो विल सी हाउ टू ओपन इट लेट अस पिक अप बोथ एंड सॉल्व इट लेट अस सी फर्स्ट सो क्यू इज इक्वल टू वोल्टेज अक्रॉस इंडक्टर टू वोल्टेज अक्रॉस सर्किट एट रेजोनेंस इज ट्रू ठीक है एंड अदर वे वी कैन राइट क्यू फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू वोल्टेज अक्रॉस कैपेसिटर अपॉन वोल्टेज अक्रॉस सर्किट एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो एप्लीकेबल एट रेजोनेंस now you see this can be opened as current into opposition of inductor because l is written right this is voltage across inductor no this is l so l's opposition will come here here it is circuit so i into z but z is equal to r at resonance z is equal to r at resonance so I could have written here I Z, but then Z is equal to R, so I can write it as I X L I R. Okay, I I cancelled, so it is X L by R. Now X L can be written as omega L, but just keep in mind because it is at resonance, so it will be resonating frequency this. Okay, now what is the value of omega R? You know it. It's one by root L C. So we'll substitute here. ठीक है? So that is the formula of Q factor is equal to. Let us substitute one by root L C. This L as it is and R as it is. L upon R. So this can be written as. See one upon root L root C. This can be written as root L into root L. That is mathematics. L can be broken into this upon R one root L root L cancel. So what do we get? Q factor formula is one by R root L by root C. So this is another formula. We we'll have to memorize. we should know all the formulas okay now coming to this voltage across capacitor same way how can voltage be written current into opposition of capacitor and this is current into net resistance net resistance is r at resonance i i cancelled so it is xc by z is r what is xc X C is one by omega C, but then omega is omega R, right? I've opened X C, and this is R. Now what is omega R? Omega R is this. Let us substitute. It will be inverted. Q is Q, right? C as it is, R as it is. This will be inverted. So that means root L C will be written up. Now you can see. This C will be written as root C into root C. So there is no R. So Q is equal to root L root C. This is root C into root C into R. So Q is written as root L by root C into R. So this is and this is same. So just I am telling you. So this is one formula of Q factor. This is second formula. They will be used in numericals. This is third formula: velocity across inductor by velocity across circuit. Okay, and uh, this is also one formula. 
so so this is one topic of q factor now we have like suppose we will plot impedance against frequency how would you plot impedance against frequency so what is the formula of impedance it's root r square plus xl minus xc's whole square which can be written as r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square okay now how to plot z against omega so you have to do the same way case 1 omega is tending to 0 case 2 omega tending to infinity case 3 omega is resonating frequency so at resonating frequency you know xl is equal to xc at resonance so that situation is easy z is r so this is one reading now these two when omega is 0 if an omega is 0 this is 0 this is infinity so everything becomes infinity z is infinity when omega is infinity this is infinity so again everything becomes infinity z is infinity now let us plot so let us plot now z that is impedance against frequency so when omega is small z is very high omega is small omega is this side but z is high so readings here when omega is high omega is this side z is still high so readings are here hai na? when omega is omega r for a particular frequency z is r so r is some value let it be here so this is the graph So this was, all, this was all here. See, you can see the properly drawn graph. Yes, otherwise the way I have drawn is also okay. You can see this curve. But the reason for different resistances, this is in relevance to the another topic. Anyways, you can see this type of graph is obtained. Just don't make it touch. This is for current and frequency that we have done okay i'm just showing you a type of graph a uh, sample okay otherwise we have prepared the topic do this properly